Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So for your meditative session today, Libra, I saw a stag. Well, I thought it was an elk, <laughs> but it's a stag, apparently. And it says, take the lead. So Libra, um, you could be connected to Virgo because I saw a, a rainbow with Virgo and you guys have like a rainbow in your card. But yeah, I see this like as a magical time for you. And I think it's asking you to lead and and it's not i mean like yeah it's like duh that's what the message says but no it's like they want you to be the example right and it's kind of reminding me of you know how like there's like the order of your birth is played like they're like like everyone has a birth order right so like you could be the first kid second kid third kid fourth kid whatever so it's like the youngest kid usually has like these characteristics and the oldest kid like they did us like a psych study on it and they're like oh yeah like the oldest kid is usually the one with like the most i don't know like this is a stereotype but this is what they say it's like the oldest kid has the like they are usually the accountants right they're usually the like stable jobs right and then the last kid is more of like uh like musicians creative projects you know and creative leaders and it's like the middle kids like middle child syndrome like they're rebellious they'll do something you know what i mean it's like there's something about like order here and it's like maybe the way that you do things is like unconventional maybe the way that you go about things i mean if you're on this channel i feel like you're already like on some other level that a lot of people don't understand so it's like you're being called to use the information that you have to lead and it's like you don't have to preach to these people you don't have to like say like some of you i think will have to like give some sort of advice to people yeah uh like people are going to communicate with you and ask you questions and you're gonna have to like speak to them i feel like that's really prominent for some of you like doing something that involves speaking but for others of you it's just like the way that you will go about living your life right the way that you like you're an example to people by the way you live, right? Like you don't have to do anything. You just have to be your true authentic self and like people will follow based on like the energy that they're seeing, right? And that's what I think like is a message for some of you. And there's something here about like order, like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting like, maybe you're the last kid and you're very, a little bit unconventional, right? Like you do things more creatively, like as opposed to the first child who does things more, like every like every kid has like a different way of being right based on their order and it's like i think maybe i feel like i'm talking to like the unconventional one right like the middle or the last kid right who's doing things a little bit differently like do you see how this elk has like feathers on his um like there's feathers and flowers on him right it's like i don't know it's like he's doing things like he does things a little differently like i feel like <laughs> you know in ratatouille there's like two mouses and one of them like he wants to do things a little differently like he wants to be remember like the all of them thought he was crazy because he wanted to like start a restaurant right like because he tasted different like he could taste things differently and it was like they thought he was like a little crazy and they were like all against him and then at the end of the movie he has like his little restaurant <laughs> and they're all like so proud of him and happy that he like did what he did that's what i feel like is going on here libra it's like the way that you're doing things is a little different and i feel like maybe in the past it was like seen as a little crazy and now it's like more acceptable or it's going to be acceptable one day like you're going to be like in your restaurant one day with your like idea right it is going to come to success but it's like you have to do you have to lead by you have to lead first right like you have to set the standard like you're setting the standard for like the new shit that's coming in right so yeah libra uh, I hope this message resonates with you guys, this meditative session, and uh, let's pull some cards and see what we get.
Okay, Libra. This reading is so for you. I mean, like at the end of it, I have like the scales of like justice, so, like the exact Libra card, like at the end of this. Um, I'm not sure at the end, but I know right now the beginning. It's like, it's like this is the energy, right, that you're in. It's like you're able, like this is a gift from God, like God, right? Like like this, like this the way that you act right like the way that you're able to kind of see things a little differently the way that like the gift that you've been given whatever gift it is right again i think for some of you it is in communication like some of you guys have something to do with like communicating to others that's why i got in the meditative session i'm getting it here too it's like for some of you it's impa like imperative i want to say like the way that you talk to others like the advice you give to others is actually very helpful like maybe like that's some like a gift of yours right but I see like this gift is given this was given to you for a reason right like this ability this way of like acting right it's it was given to you for a reason and like because you were able to integrate it because you were able to like see it because there was something within you that was able to like open up be like op be open to it it's going to lead to like success right it's gonna lead to like and not only success for you because like next I have success for you but I have success for like others right because you're leading the way right it's like people are trailing behind you but you don't even know that you're like an example like i feel like you don't really understand like what your place is right now you don't understand uh like just how powerful you are like just how the divine has like really touched you with this like intuition this like power right to start something new it's again i'm thinking of ratatouille a lot i don't know if like some of you guys like that movie but yeah i keep thinking of ratatouille how it's like I haven't seen the movie in a long time, but I just remember like his dad, I just remember his dad a lot being like really like mean and like telling him that he was like kind of crazy and like blaming him for a lot of shit. And like at the end of the day, like, and then at the end of the movie, I just remember his dad like being one of, like somebody at his restaurant, right? So it's like, I feel like it's, maybe it's been really hard to sit with this like gift, right? It's like, it's been hard to be accepted for who it is that you are. Um, but like the gift is meant to help others, right? It's meant to like, it's not only meant to help yourself, it's meant to lead others there. And like, I think people are sensing, like this I'm seeing you as like you and your energy, right? Like you, this is you in your energy. Like when you take the gifts that you've been given and you integrate them and you let them show, like the most important part of this reading is like to let them show. Like don't hide what you have. There's something here that you have, like you have to show it. Um, I don't know if this job like entails like being, I don't know, like it's like you have to let it show, like for the energy to be sh like seen, it has to be shown, like you have to sit in it. Like there's one, it's one thing to like integrate it, right? It's one thing to like feel it, but it's another thing to like go out in the street and be your true authentic self. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it has to be seen by others. And once you let others see it, that's when you come into this like ten of cups right like abundance right <laughs> like that's that's how you're able to like step into it like the abundance for yourself right because again i have the ten of cups here and the abundance card so it's like there's something here about sitting in your true authentic self and not only sitting in it but like showing it uh speaking it there's something here about speaking like here I, i'm seeing the hawk with like his mouth open so yeah libra i see like with your understanding of like the way that you integrate this and like the way to be your true authentic self and show it like not being afraid to show it that's that's gonna lead you to like this this it's gonna lead to some sort of, sort of fulfillment in your life right because i have the abundance and the ten of cups so it's like some sort of fulfillment comes from not only knowing it but showing it right like teaching it to others being like the role model that you're supposed to be that you're meant to be because it's like it's reminding me of spider-man like with great um honor what is it with great something about responsibility right with great honor comes great responsibility like with great power power yeah i think there's a message here for if you speak on this wisdom like if you there's something about speaking uh there's something here about 
using this to communicate to someone like to maybe help someone else out i think like maybe there's something here about like for telling like foreshadowing like like the hawk is reminding me of the game like game of thrones right um you know how it's like the crow or the the raven the black eyed raven or whatever the three eyed raven the, the raven it can see past present and future so it's something here about maybe um like an ability to kind of see like foretell future kind of events and it's like i think that with your ability to do this like maybe this is a gift given to you but it's like it's in the way that you use it right and i feel like maybe you have to tell somebody something like for some of you like i think that there's something that you kind of know ahead of time and you're you have to like warn somebody about it because like you know something and they don't see it yet but you see it already so it's like the past present and future it's like maybe you've understood the way things work like you know how we have like these karmic cycles and these karmic loops and we have the 3d and the 5d like there's so much information that i feel like you already know and it's like you have to share it with others and i feel like it comes with some sort of conflict right like i don't know if it's like people not believing you at first or people not understanding this or maybe it's like conflict within yourself like you not even understanding like this information completely but it's like I think you're meant to speak on it because I have this card with the abundance and it's, it's like maybe for some of you the warning that you have to give to someone is tied into your own abundance right like let's just say like you see something happening like you see your, your somebody going down the wrong path as someone in your family and they're like close to you right like their abundance matters to you right like their 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 health and their well-being matters to you it's connected to your own abundance right like we don't want to see someone close to us struggle or someone close to us fail you know what i mean or close to us like go through a bad time right so that's what i mean it's like something tied into your own abundance here with like having to tell people you know maybe it's like calling people out right calling people out on their on their shit like or trying to get others to like get onto this path with you it's like you guys have to come with me like i feel like there's like it's just like you're open to another level of consciousness and you're like meant to bring others with you. I'm thinking of like, like a sheep herder, like and its flock, right? Like you're meant to kind of like make sure every single one gets on the right, like gets home, right? Like gets there. And it's like, it's tied into your own abundance, this like speaking. So it, I feel like it's somebody close to you that like you need to like relay a message to. This is this, like, I think it's in general, but for some of you that I think, or one of you, there's like something that you should tell somebody now. <sighs> But yeah, that's just like for somebody. What's this conflict though? Okay, Libra, I feel like there's some people, well, I have the devil at the bottom, I feel like there's some people that are not, like, gonna believe this, like, the reason this is hard is, to, like, because there are gonna be people that don't believe whatever message you have to give, right? Like, you're getting the spiritual messages, and there's some people that are not gonna, like, believe you. Like, there's some people that are not, like, you're... I feel like this is how they see you. They see you as like the page of wands and the high priestess in reverse. Like they see you as like they're not gonna believe you. Like there's just something here. It's like you're you're coming at with this like fresh energy. You're coming with this like new found like information. Like there's something here. Maybe you're very young and like you have like a gift and it's like people don't see you go that the way like the right way, right? Like they're not seeing your information. The way that you're seeing your information they're not like heeding the advice that you have to give like they're not understanding the concepts that you like you're like they're not open to it right they're not they're not there yet and yeah for some of you i feel like it has to do with who you are right like i feel like with this dark and light it's like you've been balanced out right you have been you've done a lot of work on yourself you have literally like i i'm seeing the dark side though like I feel like maybe some of you guys have 
changed a lot, right? Like you have changed, you've changed, right? And I think this has been like a real like evolution for you. Like you've changed a lot, right? But I feel like some people might not understand that. Like, unfortunately, like, You know, there's like, you can't sh teach an old dog new tricks, right? Like there's like that mentality, like you can't, like people can't change, right? There's like this, this kind of like opposing energy, right? And I think that's what like the double energy is. It's like, it's like the people that don't believe, right? Like the people that don't understand. And it's like, it could be just cause it's like you who's saying it, right? Like, oh, like maybe you're really young or maybe like, you've changed a lot or maybe they like only see you in this dark side they don't see like this new side of you like whoever it is like whatever way it it works for you it's like you have learned to integrate both the dark and the light because you've been on the dark side right like you like, i sound like star wars you've been on this side right like you've been in the karmic cycle so you understand the car like that's what i want to say like there's a lot this week about karmic cycles it's like you've been in the karmic loop for a really long time maybe you had to go through the lesson like five times and you're like yo i don't want anyone to go through the side so i'm gonna explain to you guys like how this works and everyone's like what are you talking about do you know what i'm saying like they don't understand that reality that you're seeing like they don't understand that they're not there yet like they can't understand it they don't understand they like and that's why I say, it, 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 like, they see you, like, spreading, like, false, like, they don't see you as, like, spreading, like, actual real things. But it's, like, it is still important to speak on what it is you need to speak on. Like, for whoever this is, it's important. It's part of, like, I think it's part of your, like, contract on this planet. It's, like, that's what you're meant to be doing. Like, and I feel like a lot of people won't understand it because they don't understand, like, how people can have this duality. But, like, do you see here, it's, like, it's balanced out. It's like it's been balanced out in you, but it hasn't been balanced out within them. So it's like they, it's hard for them to see it. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's going to be tough for a lot of you guys because like, again, there's somebody like that you need to like speak to. And it's like, I think it's tied into your own abundance. But like, I hope, I mean, maybe this person just doesn't, they won't understand it. But again, with like the justice, the scales being in like, in balance, it's like I, they will eventually end up seeing it. Like they, they will see it in one way or the other, whether they have to go through the karmic cycle again, or they have to like, they're gonna push back a little bit. Like they, they're gonna have, they're gonna learn it eventually. But your like job, I feel like is to facilitate that learning, right? Like to open up the pathway for people to like understand like the way that you think. Cause the way that you think, you might really like, you think you're onto something and you are, and it's like, people don't really understand it. And they're like, they don't get it, right? But yeah, the advice is to take the lead anyway, like to keep doing what, the work that you're doing. So yeah, Libra, let's see if there's any advice for you. Okay guys, so you guys have Isis, the goddess of magic. Sexual, <laughs> sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. I think that the message with Isis has to do with this duality, right? This, this balance, right? This black and white. Um, and I'm going to read you something from the book because it goes perfectly. It says, the metaphor is that by uniting life and death, body and soul, masculine and feminine, heaven and earth, a rebirth or a resurrection occurs, right? And I feel like that's kind of what happened here, right? Like there has been some sort of balance within you that has led to like this understanding, right? Of the dark and the light, right? Of And that's, that's why you're sitting in this like truly free energy because you understand those two aspects of yourself. You understand like the duality, right? That comes with being human, right? And it's not even accepting it. It's like loving it. It's embracing it. Like with Isis, I feel like it's embracing it and loving it, right? And loving that aspect of yourself. Um, yeah, and it's like, that's how the rebirth has occurred, right? By accepting that you have those two sides, that duality, right? And when, when her card comes out, it always has something to do with like sexual empowerment, like sexual freedom, sexual energy. So for some of you, the like sacral chakra is important at this time or there's something here about like your sexual energy and how important it is so 
I mean, that's going to mean something different to all of you. Like, it, depending if you're in a, in a relationship or not in a relationship, thinking about being in a relationship. Like, do you know what I'm saying? That, like, that's a personal message to you guys. But however that energy works in your life, like, know that it's sacred, right? Um, like, be careful who you, like, you know, you share your, your energy with. And, like, again, for some of you, that's, like, a message, right? Be careful who you share your energy with. And for others, it's, like, like not to be scared of it, right? For some of you, it's, like, a warning to to like be careful you share yourself with and for others it's like maybe it's time and you're ready and it's like you know what i mean like that sexual energy is meant to be like shared and to be i mean it's not meant to be shared you can do it yourself right like but whether it's alone or with someone else uh like don't be afraid of it right so anyway libra i love you guys i love this reading i hope this resonates with you and i'll see you next week bye